Hey, this is Vince with Shelter Designs. We've got a great opportunity here to be in a yurt that's under construction. And we're going to take a closer look at some of the framing that's going on on the interior of the yurt. We've got a couple styles of framing coming together in this one yurt, so let's check them both out. What I'd like to do at first is talk about the kind of framing that we usually put into yurts, which is a framing that is a, a standalone framing. In other words, it's not tied to the yurt structure itself. Here we see a nice example of some post and beam over top of the kitchen. And we can see, I mean, typical construction, you've got two posts, you've got a beam going across, you've got floor joists for the upstairs loft that come up and terminate into the beam going across the post and then back into another interior wall. You can see over here that again we terminate in a beam right here on the inside of the yurt wall and it's not really tied to anything. Now that's typically what we do, especially in yurts that don't have a snow and wind kit like, the, like this yurt does. And that's why it's a nice opportunity to check out a couple of kinds of framing because right back here toward the back of the kitchen, they've gone ahead and tied into the structure of the yurt by putting some sleepers in between the snow legs and then putting the first stud for the wall up against those sleepers. So here you can see we're actually starting to tie into the structure of the yurt via the snow legs. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the bedroom. So here's a nice example, again, of integrating the interior framing with the structure of the yurt itself. Uh, this front side, it's a uh, pretty normal stud wall that we've landed the floor joist on. We've got these horizontal members coming back to where they've put blocking in between the bottom of the roof rafters. Now that transfers all of your load here down to the vertical members or the snow legs. So everything's tied in here and that's fine for this yurt because it does have the snow and wind kit. And our yurts that don't have the snow and wind kit and don't have this extra vertical support of the snow and wind legs underneath, what we recommend you do is, again, very similar to how we saw the very front of the loft in the kitchen done. We would do several vertical posts and then four or eight foot sections of straight beam going along the back side of the yurt. And then you would have a totally freestanding frame structure within the yurt. And I, mean, I really like what these guys have done. Anytime you're doing framing in one of these structures, you walk a fine line between maintaining the open vaulted space and getting some more utility out of certain parts of the space itself. So bottom line, this is an open pallet. I'd say go for it and enjoy yourself and live around and prosper. She's gonna cut that part out, you know.